But before we dive into all that, uh, I want to turn it over to Kathleen Boswell for a presentation. Every year, the Scott Joplin Foundation awards uh, a chrysanthemum award to uh, somebody who has made significant contributions to uh, this festival. And Kathleen can tell you more about that. Kathleen Boswell. Outstanding Achievement Award for quite a few years, somebody said, we need something that's just a little less than lifetime achievement because so many people here in Sedalia have worked so hard on the festival over the years and pretty much unsung heroes. So we decided to create the Chrysanthemum Award and I think that's listed in the program who has received it. And so this year, I'm excited to get to present it to John Simmons, because I nominated him. <laughs> John and I have known each other a really long time, and neither one of us is allowed to say exactly how long that has been. But he was so instrumental in downtown Sedalia for years. And then somewhere around early 2000, he got his head all big and thought he had to go to Colorado for a different job. But you know what? His heartstrings tugged him right back here. And we are so thankful that he came back and that he's worked so hard on the festival. He's the one that really started dressing up the stage, that door, the big potted plant, all the extra details. John said, ah, it really needs to look prettier. And he worked so hard. So not only does he bring his own creativity to the festival, he brings a lot of Sedalia City employees. <laughs> Which, when it comes to getting pianos out of storage and things like that, that we, and the, you know, just everything, he just says, oh yeah, no big deal, I'll make a call. And so they show up and they take care of it for us. Because unfortunately, a lot of us on the board are getting a little older, and a lot of us are female. And we can't really do some of the things that he gets the city crew to do. But he is just always so quick to answer something. And we appreciate him so much. John, come on down. but it hadn't arrived yet. <laughs> and so they were panicked. It was supposed to come from Kansas City, right? So just in case it didn't come in time for the photo op, they were going to use this plaque. And so it got left over at the pavilion. And so John's cleaning up and closing up the pavilion at 10 o'clock, and he sees a plaque laying there, and it's like, oh, dang, that's got my name on it. <laughs> So it's been, it's been riding around in his car until he brought it in here. So <laughs> cemetery director for the city. I had to work with him this year to go, okay, how do we figure out this trolley route? Where does it go? Can we do it? Good example. <laughs> the thing I want to do tonight is thank your neighbor and thank them for being here, supporting rack time, Sedalia. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I always do this. I can give a presentation to City Hall and start tearing up. Um, <laughs> And thank them for the support because without it, this doesn't exist. And it's all of you all out there making it exist. So thank you, and it's our pleasure to have you here. 